So today's noir Vember film was a film I thought I had seen before, and then it turns out I I hadn't. And so I was like, well, I gotta get this watch. This 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 noir Vember. I should have watched it at, at Halloween because it's a um kind of a film that works for both noir Vember and Halloween. There's a few of these sort of horror noir hybrids. Um, thinking like Night of the Hunter, the um, Hitchhiker, uh, the Seventh Victim. There's there's a lot of sort of where the lines cross, and this one definitely is. It's got aspects of noir, aspects of whodunit, and aspects of just blood curdling horror. Um, the film begins with some showgirls in New Mexico being very racist about the types of women that people in New Mexico like. Um, it's a little rough to watch. And then their, um, one of their managers, played by Dennis O'Keefe, brings in a leopard and is like, we're going to have you have this leopard and it's going to, you know, be a great PR boon. Um, however, they, he doesn't have the leopard on a pretty good, on a good leash. It gets loose. And it, spoiler alert, eats a girl. And in the most terrifying sequence where she tells her mom she doesn't want to go because this leopard's loose, and her mom's like, ah, go get this, the cornmeal, and then she has to go to the far market, because the close market is closed, and on her way back, she sees the leopard, it's terrifying, she drops the cornmeal, she's running for home, and then her mom won't let her in, and then by the time the mom's able to unlock the door, blood comes in through the door, and it's like, this is 1943, what? Um, probably, I'm assuming, got through the um, credits, because <laughs> everything's racist, and it wasn't white, uh, a supposed to be a white woman being eaten and so I'm sure the censors are like ah oh, we can let this go I'm assuming that I don't know that might not be why but I'm just assuming everything is racist um so the rest of the film is them uh trying to figure out who else is um and someone so then someone else gets murdered but they know but they think it's not the the leopard and then the rest of the film is them trying to figure out who's killing all these women why and is it really the leopard? Is it a leopard person? You know, like, it's not actually a leopard person. You know that. Um, and it stars Jean, co-stars Jean Brooks, who's also in The Seventh Victim, which is also a Jacques Turner film, and um, quite good. I, I cannot recommend The Seventh Victim enough. I liked the economy of this film. It's 66 minutes. It is tense from start to finish. It's a bit racist, like I said, um, but New Mexico is probably still a little bit racist. It has Isabel Jewell in it as well, um, playing a fortune, a really creepy fortune teller. Um, was, um, obviously Isabel Jewell had been making films for a long time. Um, it stars Margot, one word, one name. I don't know what else Margot has been in. Um, I'm assuming with a name like that, that perhaps she was French. A lot of times the French have the one name. Uh, no, she's from Mexico. She the one that got eaten. No. Yes? She might have been the one that got eaten. Um, point being, I liked this film. It was quick. It was to the point. It was creepy. It was shot well. Um, it wasn't, qu wasn't quite as racist at the beginning, but you got to do what you got to do, I guess, when you're 1943 and you're on a border state. Although, you know how border states are still sort of racist, so we haven't really changed much. Uh, you can get The Leopard Man on DVD, and you can rent it, and it's on Criterion, or it's not on Criterion. It's on Filmstruck right now, and um, Dennis O'Keefe is not always a fave of mine, um, but he's passable in this movie. And really, I was less impressed by the performances than I was by the um, tight filmmaking of Turner and the way he's able to build tension through uh, withholding things very similar to what he does with cat people um, where he doesn't show you a lot but you hear things and you and the angles of the camera make you feel a certain way and Turner was really good at making you feel things without telling you to feel the things um, and I think that's why he's such a uh, his films have such staying power today so if you're looking for a uh, horror noir Definitely recommend the Leopard Man. It's it's that sequence is at the beginning in particular is is on par with the sequence in Cat People in the pool. I think in terms of just utter tension. Um, so this is nineteen forty three. It's the Leopard Man, directed by Jacques Turner, and I definitely recommend it.